Center of Trinidad and during World War II, the American pilots who flew overhead knew where they were because they passed over the church roof, the Catholic church. Mm -hmm. And that gave them an idea as to where they were. So you're over the center of Trinidad. You're in the center of Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people would have been using these for cooking. You go camping sometimes. You go camping sometimes. Camping? Yeah. It's really big where we are. Yeah. I don't do it a lot personally. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You're going to the urban side. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's just um clay or soil and you use firewood. And uh, only we use it. Right, um, one like this can be used for making Tomato would have very large ones. Yeah. And they would use them a lot with their tourists and even with the locals. Oh yeah, they did the big bread. Bread and yeah. pizza, cake. Mm -hmm. All those things. Yeah. Yeah. That's more of the traditional things that people would have done. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
porn stars and American pickles and all of these things. Mm. Yeah, it's big business of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Trinidad, it's now catching on. And a lot of our antiques, like all the grass work and the iron, mm. would have been destroyed because of the scrap iron industry. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Yeah. So the few people who have things, we really have to cherish them. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the church, you, you show them the church not so? Yes. Right. The church would have been built in 1933. And some of these things came from the church and they just disappeared over the course of time and now they came back to the museum. <laughs> So, so that's good in a sense. Yeah. One like that is an 1883 candelabra. Tayo, in your early days, coming to church, you remember seeing those? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, they were thrown behind the toilets. Uh -huh. And I had to salvage them, take parts from one to make up a complete one. Why are they throwing them away? We no longer appreciate these things. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. We throw them away. We don't Yeah. <laughs> we want to be modern. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. All right, posted stamps are familiar with. Um, Trinidad became independent in 1962. We would have been British, and before that, well, from 1797. That's and recent. Before that, mm -hmm. we would have been Spanish. Mm. Okay, all of these stamps here would say Trinidad and Tobago. This would be like the 30s, 40s, coming to the 50s and 60s. But there's a stamp here which says only Trinidad. And that would mean that the stamp is before 1889. So funny, all stamps have white people on them. They would Duh, have of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, what happened? Yeah. Yes? It's just funny because I'm like... Black or banished, man. You never see a black one on a stamp. <laughs> never. We don't even got people color our money, so... <laughs> what? Hey, Chinese. Um, yeah. Stamps on yeah, numbers they, on they, that. Yellow glaze and stone glaze items. Mm -hmm. They would have come with whiskey, rum, pharmaceuticals, beer, shoe polish, and ink in the late 1800s. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Not all yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever saw one of these? No, I don't even know what that is. You know, snowboard? Take a look at a snow cone one day. Oh, snow cone! Oh, snow cone. Snow cone. The ice? Yes. Oh, yeah. This is what they used to... What? Before the, before the machine where you crush, you had to shave the ice. Oh, what Manually. That? What? That? That's so it? So they bleed. That took a while. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so this is an old one. Right? And then you would put it on a cup, press it, and serve it in the hand without the cup. What? All this syrup That'd be cold. Down there. Oh god! Uh, <laughs> wow. That scale that came from a shop in one of the neighboring villages. It's 1867. Wow. 155 years old. Wow. It's an Italian brand. Some people use this as a 1912 to 1920 model. Wow. Singer would have been around since the 1800s. Hmm. This one here is 1870. Hmm. Oh wow! That was. Wow, what? somebody found this My God. in an abandoned estate Look at this wow. close to the forest. You said 18 what? 1870. Wow. Mm. That's wow. Really How do you know the exact date? <gasps> somebody researched it and saw the picture okay, okay, okay. online. Yeah. Oh, you have a pet turtle? Oh, two of them are here. Two? Yeah. <gasps> Hello. Oh my gosh, from Lou. Yeah. Mm. yeah. He's looking at me. That one's scared. That one's gonna show. Oh. This one is brave. That one just hides all the. These baskets would have been used on the cocoa estates. Mm -hmm. When you went there in San Antonio, it's part of a larger estate. The whole Montserrat area, the whole central area was cocoa mm -hmm. from the 1800s coming down. Mm -hmm. Right, so these baskets are over 80 years old. Wow. And they would last very long. According to the, the traditional people, they would harvest the vines and lumber, bamboo, and that sort of thing, according to the moon phases. Mm. Right? They're big. Some of them are big. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that would go onto the, the wooden structure, which is a crook, across the donkey's back. Oh, mm -hmm. dang. To transport all of them. Putting them at work. <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. A lot. 
scissors. Scissors. Typewriter. Mmm. The, the heaters down below there. Mm. These are from the 1800s. This one, the tailors and seamstresses would work with the hot coals would go inside it. Wow. That one you would have to heat in a cold box. This one, people in Trinidad would have used it up to the 1970s. It used domestic gas. What's that a little pop for? You put the gas in it oh. and you pump it up and light it. Mm. But it's a domestic gas. Trunks that some people traveled with in the 1920s or so, the steamer, steamer trunks, because they came with the steamships. Oh, these. Oh, these. Yeah, the black ones. Oh, wow. So some of the bottles, the one that you're looking at in the middle shelf, the green bottles there, mm -hmm. they are from the estates. <coughs> Quite a lot of those in the estates around here. Oh. Right, they would be beer bottles. The age of the bottles could be determined by the type of mouth. Yeah, like this one here. If it uses the cork that goes inside, that's from the 1800s. Colors like these would be from the 1800s. Hmm. The lighter green that we know nowadays, like this, that's early 1900s. So the colors would change. Mm -hmm. If you have a screw cap or a flip cap bottle, that's from the early 1900s, not the 1800s. Right, so the age could be determined like that. Have you seen Pirates of the Caribbean? You know how they drink rum and also those bottles? Mm. Mm. Right, this one is Piedrax. But like 1920s, 1930s, mm. this would have been the copper. Oh. And the inside vulcanized rubber. Mm. You know what Piedrax is, right? Mm. You know Piedrax? You'll buy them up here, Jax, before they leave. Well, <laughs> is it a drink? It's a, oh, oh, a drink. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Drink. yeah. <laughs> so he'll take you to get up here, Jax, won't we? <laughs> Soft drink bottles there, mm. which go back to as far as the 1930s here. Is there a Coca Cola one? There's a spray. Coca Cola. Is there... <laughs> yeah, I don't have any Coca Cola. Well, just these. Oh, Mr. Thing. Cola, whatever that is. Yeah. Oh. Some of these are no longer in production. They finished mm. like nineteen mid nineteen nineties in Trinidad. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the cereal boxes. Yeah. These boxes would have been around up to the nineteen seventies or so, <laughs> and then the packaging would have changed. Hey. Brian, I know that blue yeah. one. You were alive. I remember. Yeah, of course. I know, <laughs> I know the corn cornflakes too, Kellogg's. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. I remember the blue when one. I was in a museum. How do you feel? Old. 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 old, 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 old. So I'm still working on this section. I like it. Hmm. I see the vision. The shop, the shop, <laughs> and the rum shop. Nice, man. Nice. Love shelves to get barbecue and that sort of thing. Nice. <laughs> Look at all this wee Cooper. <laughs> Cooper. Is this part of the museum or is this just your stash? Yeah, it's part. part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this, this. So those are the flat cans. Yeah, yeah, you never yeah. heard of flat cans. Oh, it's like. Yeah, you pump it, it you put the cap. Yeah, see, she knows a lot. <laughs> oh, I, it just looks like it. It's yeah. just guess it. You kill I've never used anything like that before. This is up to the 1970s. That one is 1920. Mm. Brass and copper. Mm. This one looks more sturdy than this. Yeah. Mm. It's brass and copper. The copper would not deteriorate. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What is this? Ice trees. Okay, so mm. I thought. Yeah, when you ice cream trees. Or together, really tiny eggs. Yeah, <laughs> you get the trees. Oh, yeah. 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 For, like kindergarten, yeah, transparent, yeah. and then it reflects, yeah. and then you just have to use like wipe. Mm. Mm. You yeah. didn't have that? Okay, no. Right. <laughs> I, I remember at least till like third grade. Well, you guys remember I don't this? Think we even had you guys remember this? Player. Was it this the eight, the eight track or no? This okay, this cassette. Eight track, this cassette. Okay. There's oh, one on the other side with mm. it. Right. So projector. Mm. Oh, I see that. Yeah, oh, so yeah. I would have used the, the slides. Yeah, the, the three, oh, the three, three mm. That's cool. Yeah. Mm. Oh, 
Yeah. Wow. I think that was big in the 80s in the States. Eh, eh. What? 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 Somebody was cleaning out the house and they found some molasses and a bunch of molasses from 1956. What's molasses? Yeah. It's like a. Um, it's very like concentrated. Like a. I want to say. So, like yeah, these are medicine bottles. Oh. I know this had liquor in it. No. 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 That's not liquor. Oh. This, this whole section is a medicine bottle. Oh, yeah. 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 I like the over there. I thought yeah. it was like a little. <laughs> <local. laughs> <Local. laughs> 1800 is coming into the early 1900s. Mm. Oh, little shop bottles. Mm -hmm. My color is green. Yeah. You, you use herbal treatments so where you come from? Uh, my culture uses it a little bit, yeah. But I don't. My dad works in hospitals, so I feel like we use more of the modern. Where are you originally from? Uh, my family's from. Oh, I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington, but my family's from China. China. Mm. Okay, so the Chinese would know a lot about herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. mm. My grandma. Yeah. Mm, I use more modern medicine. Modern? Yeah, not herbal. You're, you're afraid yeah. of the, the herbal medicines? Not afraid, I'm just not used to it. My cousin actually is a doctor in herbal medicine. Oh, that's good. So you must try it some. Okay. <laughs> Look oh, at that. <laughs> yeah, man. I need to yeah, right Get all this. A ruler? Wait, yeah. Whoa! I wish a ruler was still a like that. <laughs> that's a slider. Hmm. That's so much more convenient than what we have now. Before the days of calculator, you could do all your maths and trigger on oh. the tree here. Mm. I thought that was a ruler. Never oh, mind. Wow. <laughs> all, all your multiplication, your cube root, everything. Square root, squares. Wow. We're in the 1940s, 1950s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those old movies, you see them there? Oh, yeah. Blood point. <laughs> you're, you're getting so excited seeing your childhood in front of you. Yes, yes, yes. You still see them in some movies. Yes. Yeah. This is the attraction. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I remember we, I, I had one going up in the car too. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Check out the check out the phones, man. Check out the phones. Wow. And then from this to this. You remember butter? Mm. Butter? Butter? Butter. 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 Yes, yes. Oh, yeah, no, Kiwi polish, my goodness. Wow. Clive. Clive. Wow. <laughs> Take a bone for that, man. Oh, what? <laughs> He's recalling his memory. I know, yeah. Kiwi. I, used use, I, used use, I used to use Kiwi. Kiwi does this. Hmm. Cool. Wow. Do drums here? No. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm now putting together some musical instruments. Hmm. So these are Indian instruments here. The same person who made that water and pestle, mm -hmm. the one that I showed you from the early 1900s, yeah, he made that yeah. scrub, but he never completed it. He was supposed oh, to put the animal really? skin over it, mm. but he never completed it. What animal skin do they use? Both. So we also tell the history of the area, like Juan Tiasa, where I was one of the last Spanish settlers in this area, one of the last Europeans. And he told me son who was the son of Chinese father and a Venezuelan mother. Oh, mm. Chinese. Mm. Chinese. <laughs> so all the alcohol bottles here were found on the Visa Biscuit. Mm. And then of course here we have Asavero selling part of his estate to Mangri, who was an Indian immigrant, not in the church. She came as a businesswoman. Okay. And everything uh, apart from alcohol was found on her estate. Right. So we compare the man's lifestyle with the woman's lifestyle. Mm. Okay, so it tells the, it's not just a collection of the artifacts, but it tells the history of the people oh, yeah, in the right, right. story. Yeah. We have a few more stuff. 